Well, the daughter of a military veteran is speaking out for justice on this Veterans Day. Her father was brutally beaten by several men at a bus stop on Detroit's east side. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell tells us the despicable crime left him with serious injuries. Sheila Calvin can't believe a group of men attacked her seven year old father who's an army veteran while he was staying here waiting for a bus near the intersection of Gratiot and State Fair. She says those men left her father for dead in the streets. He's all I knew is I was fighting. He's I was fighting for my life. It was a violent and senseless assault by multiple people on a seven year old Marine veteran that nearly cost him his life. They didn't have that remorse of what they did because they left my daddy there to die. Sheila Calvin says her father has multiple injuries to his face and now some memory loss. Right side, the whole side fractured, mouth stitched up in different spots inside his mouth. The top layer of his teeth are gone. Detroit police say the assault happened Friday night. They say two men approached Philip Ramsey and one of them demanded items. Officers say there was a struggle and two or three more males arrived and also began assaulting Philip. He's going to protect you no matter what. And like he says, stop it, leave us alone. But I guess them guys felt like that was too much. Like, basically, don't talk back to us. Sheila says she doesn't understand why a group of men would attack an older man. She says she wants those responsible caught and off the streets. You can run, but you can't hide. Everything in the dark comes out in the light. Turn yourself in. Basically, y'all just attempted to kill my daddy with no remorse and left him laying in the street like a dog. Turn yourself in. Sheila says her father is trying to deal with what happened to him the best he can. If you have any information, you're urged to call Detroit police. Reporting on Detroit's east side, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.